Hey Miguel, welcome. Uh, today we'll be playing some Caesar 3. I'm not sure if you are familiar with the game, but it's a staple of the channel, so... We'll be doing that. Yeah, uh, if you want to watch Mountain Blade, you'll play it later. For now, at least two hours are for this map. I don't know how complex it is, but usually it takes around two hours to beat a uh, season three map. No, it's fine, you don't have to stick around, it's uh, your life, you can do it whatever you want. It's just, you know, it's our thing to play Caesar, so we will play Caesar. Because that's how this channel came to be, really. There's a countdown right now, so minute and 20 seconds, it's there, so people can trickle in if they wish to watch. And then after it runs out, I'll explain the map and all that. Yeah, no problem. I'm happy if you stick around or not. Depends on you and really. seems to be in order, so let's take a look at the map in question. So this map is called Istmia Train Center, it's made by a guy named Gemini S. We've played a couple of maps from him before, I think. I don't remember if they were very tough, I don't think so, because they are not very memorable. And the map description is very short, it says, huge map with the emphasis on heavy trade due to limited resources. The city is besieged and has plenty of military activity. From this I gather it's gonna be at least mediocre difficulty. We have goal of 10,000 population. I'm gonna shut off the timer. 10,000 population, 85 favor, 90 peace, 75 prosperity and 75 culture. Culture is always a little bit of a cringe. But it seems that the main thing here is gonna be... We can't really make much. We have only clay. Uh, we do have wheat, fruits and olives though. So we can start by... S oh yeah, we are here in Corinthus, which means that we can only trade by sea. But cheapest route is Athena for 100 denarii and they would buy some oil from us. And they also sell iron, so if yeah, Syracuse buys weapons, we could open that up. Also, Tarentum buys weapons, so that's how we are gonna expand the trade. Now, if you take a look at the map itself, there is a native meeting hut here, which we could use, I think. Yeah, there is a mission post. Hm. No problem, Miguel. See you around. Uh, Alright, yeah, native meeting hut. We can pacify that. There are some sheep. Here and there, 
dock spots. I have no idea where the ship trade is gonna come from. Because there is no flotsam. Also we have this is the entry point, this is the exit point. So we'll start by cutting into this. I'm gonna predict that the trade is here. But I really have no indication of where. So if I build my stuff on the wrong side, it's gonna be painful. It might also be here, I just have no idea. <laughs> like both of them are kinda symmetrical in size. This one has a little less fishing, so it makes me think that it's going to be where the trade is. I should start by just placing a dock and seeing if it actually will uh, allow a ship come uh, to come before I build the industry because otherwise I'm gonna build it on the wrong side and it's gonna be horrible. Okay, let's cut into this. Mm, we will open up a route like this. It's a lot of fertile land. We do have wheat, I think. Yeah. So we'll be setting up our first block over here. We'll leave some of this for the industry, I think. If not, then we can squeeze in another block in there. Have to make it a little bit crooked, I guess. Also, do we have plaza? Yeah, we do. Okay. some houses. And I need to make sure it's not too long, otherwise it's not gonna work. But something like this should be okay. larger because of all the turns. Would have some sort of problem like last time. We'll be watering them from the inside I think. So let's place the houses like this. It's gonna be a house and a house. Mm, mistake. Actually I can bring it with getting granary. It's not super great to do that but uh, yeah I think I'll have to. Since I already kind of designed it that way. Well, that's fine. Let's place this. Let's make sure we have services. I'm just gonna go on this side. Might have a place for something, right? right there. There. So let's let people move in. Let's check out uh, our cellar. It's 12 denari. Let's drop it to 8. People are coming. Okay, we 
Okay, so unemployment. Let's start making some oil, I guess. The first thing I wanted is to... I wanted to do the dock, just to verify where can we actually trade, but... Uh, so if we cannot, let's just make a couple of farms for our lives here. On the edge of the natives, oh, let's add a couple of oil workshops. We will not add a warehouse yet. Make sure it doesn't collapse. And I guess we build a dock here first and see if this is a place where uh, the ships are supposed to come to. doesn't burn down because I'm not sure if it's gonna immediately trigger. Okay. Yes, uh, there's flotsam here. Good. Okay. If you want a warehouse like that, it's gonna get oil. I want another one like that as well. Unfortunately, this one would block in that, but we can have it uh, like this, or this, yeah, I'm gonna have to be like that. Let's also get oil. And I'd like to pacify the natives quickly, but we'll see if it's possible or not. build a reservoir right there, be tapping this water. Fountains. Last one is kind of bad. Plaza some distance up. Let's make sure we pacify the natives from right around there. Like him to come like that. And then one tile there. Should get them all. Hey, farewell, welcome. Plus five natives. What a luxury. Some would consider it a necessary thing. <laughs> I like pacifying natives. Especially when their native meeting hut is here. It's gonna be insane. Because, make no mistake, the natives can and will print money. I know that Augustus will aim to fix that soon, so we need to make use of it. While it lasts. Uh, right, this thing, shift that by one, yeah. let's add a couple more, ah. so we'll be making oil, need to open up Trade route to Athena. 
export oil. I guess we do have some unemployment. Which there is a trade route uh, Syracuse, which would buy pottery as well. I'm just gonna go into that, I think, and open it up. I'll develop some of these areas to make pottery. Mm, actually, we'll need to shift this thing. We can fit like a workshop in here, maybe. This would be an okay spot for the engineer. Like that's better workshops. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I didn't find it. That's just not good. Okay, let's put it there. Let's put the engineer in this nook instead. Just replacing things constantly, but so it needs to go down. Okay, it's gonna work. This is gonna accept. This is gonna accept uh, 16 pottery. Still getting people, but not that much money. The natives have bought the oil, I think. What are the prices? Are they vanilla prices? Yes, they are. A little bit broken though. Mm. Just like to add another clay pit. A couple of extra workshops. Unfortunately, this is... Oh yeah, I can fit a farm there. We have some labor left for other things, that's good. Okay, so some pottery is being made. But opening it up costs a thousand. We could just avoid that, I guess. But if we haven't taken out a bailout yet, let's just do this. Export pottery. You have to start farming very soon. Let's start doing that right now. It's gonna suffice for now. Put a grenade right there. Can I accept wheat? We'll have to get it. I know, excuse me. That's fine, a lot of money was gained like that. I will probably try to import things and turn it into other things to sell weapons. Yeah, we can do that. So. This one is accepting pottery, right? Let's just remove that for a sec. Add a road tile there. It's like that. Let's so we'll plug this off. This is going to accept 16 iron, accept 16 bother. We're we'll making a workshop for weapons. I don't have labor though. Just add a couple. And which one is it that buys? I think this one will need to. Yeah, this one will need to accept iron. This one will need to accept weapons. It's a mess. 
then it's going to also get 16 oil. Butter, potter is. Potter needs to go here. Alright. Okay. Let's start feeding these. Let's get a feather and a school. Carpet Plaza. Get them a pilot house immediately. So they don't die. Let's get another house in here. Have to cover it with a fountain initially. Give them a tax man. We will charge tax. Give them some more money so they don't riot. I'll be on the bus again in like 15 minutes, so perfect timing with your streaming. <laughs> yeah, clearly. I'll see you in Blobber's chat as well. Uh, but uh, probably Julia is not as interesting to watch the people who play most dogs. The cats are just throwing their bed from the window over and over again. I'm not picking it up again. Oh yeah, imports. Imports, exports, weapons, exports. Let's make Fairby happy. I just... <laughs> this is not good. Fair or fine. I'm sure this one will look okay. to fix that. It's here. Oh yeah, because it's beyond the roadblock. Makes sense. Uh, I'm just gonna add services here as well. That's fine. So we have some iron now. Oh yeah, this needs to not get stuff done. Uh, kind of s so it's just gonna instead accept pottery. And this one is gonna get oil then. Instead of accepting pottery. It's gonna accept weapons, yeah right. They would never have time to uh, actually give them the stuff. Uh, right, if we have extra labor, we need to double up our farms now. So make sure we do it as effectively as possible.
make it a loop. Looks like the services will cover it. I would be worried if I didn't have the function. It's time to make some further workshops back there. Replace these two with weapons. You could also block this off. That would help with the uh, pathing. I will make a highway for this native. If I do that, it's gonna fuck up, but let's do that, maybe that's gonna be fine. It's worth it, the native is just so important. Okay, guys are getting angry, already. We didn't have marble locally, so I'll have to just squeeze in temples. We cannot mine things, and as far as I know, it wasn't possible to put invasion points on high ground before. From the comfort of my villa, I perceive hey my here to be very good. Thank you very much for the sub. How are you doing? Ah, uh, I think I'll just put the temple spam in here. It's gonna be fine. Make some sunlit hedges. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. We are playing some Mountain Blade recently. Apart from that, like, uh, nothing really special. Uh, just getting everything ready for the Christmas. We all have some guests as well. Uh, yeah, I wanted to mention a giveaway on Christmas Day, if you have time, at 17 CET. You can stop by and we'll have a marble race for some giveaways. So if you go, you can read it, um, read everything in the Discord. If you go into the Discord on the public assembly channel, there's a pinned message that says everything you need to know about the giveaway. If you, do, if you can't make it, it's fine. Just if you want, you can stop by, and since you are a sub and you are frequenting a bunch, it might be fair if you were able to have a chance to win something nice. Right. Check it out. Yeah, no problem. Let's get another weapons workshop. I want to give them both array. We could just uh, make more here. Or locally. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna do it locally. In here this nook would be okay for it. Squeeze in workshops around here. Clay pits here. It's actually a path. All the way here. But that's stretching it a bit. Well, I can start with like two. It's completely fine for consumption. So that's gonna be four workshops. We'll be accepting some potter in here. this road. We will be cutting it off. Like so. Services. It's gonna accept water. And so they'll be getting everything they need apart from entertainment. 
Which does work. This would. Let's do that. I have to get them an Actors Colony and a Lion House. Can do that here. I'm not sure if that is gonna be an evolved. That usually is one on the custom map, so it wouldn't surprise me at all. Still lacking labor a bit. So I'm to be careful. But I think a bunch of people are still moving into the city. Yes, they are. These guys are just stuck in here. That's probably because they ventured in and then they got stopped. They're gonna despawn eventually. Should be fine. This warehouse is bothering me. But it's fine, it's it's supposed to be like that, okay. Yeah. It's fine. I'll probably move a couple of these pottery workshops back here. Then I'll move these two, make them weapons workshops. I'll be making a new dock, I think. I'll have to give them their own thing. So we have money. I want to squeeze in another block in here, but that's gonna be a tight, tight squeeze. I could try to figure something out, but it's not gonna be pretty. Let's take a look at it. Just one by one spot, that's not good. work. It's not gonna be very nice, but it's gonna function. That's what we need. Is this big enough to justify? I think I want extra length, but we'll have to scrap this house and then give it one more tile then. Extra houses around here because that's okay place. There is a reservoir which is gonna impact desirability but not as much as one might think. Let's have a house there. I need native overlay. Yeah. Good. More there. We'll be connecting this up but making sure it's sort of blocked. This needs to be roadblocked as well, but then a road somewhere touching this. Would this count? I think it needs to touch. So 24th at 17. Yes, yes, yes. That's correct. That is correct. And now she would spawn there. Well, this is rough. I can just have a road there. <laughs> it's kind of cheesy, but it's the only way. 
We are same time zone, right? To, uh, it's 12.32. Uh, it's 12.32, yes, correct. It's kind of interesting. I was thinking maybe it would be shifted a bit, but clearly it's the same. Never realized that. It's an interesting fact. And we know that for a fact because it's exactly that time here. <laughs> Science. Not really, it's just common sense, but it's good to know nonetheless. Let's make a statue. Which another one will do just fine. Getting plaza. Finland that Soul's neighbor is not the same, so we <laughs> Yeah. I guess there's that little bit of a difference that makes all the difference. Geographically speaking. Just keep piling on houses. And then you have Russia with all the time zones. <laughs> yeah, that's just completely bonkers. Yeah, Russia is giant. Takes up like half the half the earth. <laughs> it's in the latch. Theft. Alright, people hate it. Uh, we do have insulator, that's good. Guards are not happy with me. Again. Okay. Yeah, I'll be making I'll be making the houses here. Also, what about the markets? Would this work? It would. It's just not very nice looking, but it will. Let's give them temples, let's give them a school and a theater. <clears throat> so we actually have unemployment now, and quite a big one. We'll be adding more food. running through it like nothing. This cannot be docked anyways, so let's just use it for this. This road can fix this up. It has service already. People have stopped moving in because of all the unemployment. It's gonna get solved. I will also pay them a little more because they are getting upset. Mm. Right. With all the oil local, uh, I think it's kinda okay to make them grand in soil. We do have fruit. Mm. It's not necessary though. Maybe it's better to just be safer. We could also do uh, marble now. Who sells us marble? Athena. Right. So that's this trade road. Let's accept 8 marble. Portrait. You also need timber now. But for some things, this will be enough. Okay. Yeah, people just refuse to move in still. Should solve itself soon. We should give them jobs and money. Do things they want. Let's give them a bathhouse so they don't explode. Uh, how do we make it a bathhouse? I will have to make it here. Drop this one, maybe. Yeah, that works. Oh. 
that I buy. Going to a uh, big store to buy some things for Christmas now. It's good. You are going by car. Oh no, you said you are going on a bus. That's alright. I remember things, you see. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes I do. This one needs to be shut off for a moment. I need this house to happen first. I don't own a car. Yeah, yeah, I think we talked about it once. I need jobs or people will not like it. This should be still fine. Let's add a couple more. What's that? Enemies closing? Yeah. Well, I'm just building here like this is a peaceful map, but it isn't. Uh, yeah, I know. It's fine. Let's get a barracks. That's actually not a good place. Uh, I'll need to figure out where to place my forts as well. This is probably... Yeah, these are probably innovation points. The hell is a good position for the military though. Let's make it here and also make our barracks and military academy in here. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm glad I never have to deal with Christmas shopping. <laughs> it would be horrible. I don't like it either, but it's a necessary evil. <laughs> you just need to do it. Let's make the forge in here. This one will be okay. Come on. Move it. Okay, small for me. He wants an army. I cannot give him an army. That's for sure. What do we do now? Even more pottery, I need jobs. It's kind of working against me here because... There are plenty of people in the city. But it's actually hurting me. Can't give them as many jobs as quickly as they want it. It's alright. It will happen. I need this house. I need it bad. They will come here now. Let's give them this. Selective memory. Uh, I barely have to do it. We can buy presents to grow up some family. And I live 700 kilometers away from my family, so Christmas presents aren't really a thing because of that. <laughs> yeah. It's quite a distance. I think it's. Like four times as long as it is to my relatives? No, it's like three times as much. Roughly. But also depends, like, if there's a highway or a straight train track to there. It also cuts the travel time. So I think we discussed it before, and it it's not like that. So, shit. Takes a long time to travel. Let's make a form. We'll be adding some statues. A couple of bones. One, it seems. Some marble columns. It's not in half the country, it's like one turf. Yeah, Sweden is large. Yeah, this is the problem I was mentioning before. Let's uh, make sure they have water. 
Even still, it's gonna be a pain to merge them. They did it. Okay. Let's make sure they have all the things they might want. Like this. Also a couple of flat REI. Everyone loves flat REI. Okay, uh, I'm still worried about the army, it's just not gonna change anytime soon. Uh, so I don't know what you're going for. We are importing marbles, so let's start making some monuments, I guess. At least small ones, that is. I'll be making a warehouse for clay in here. Let's get an extra clay pit. Let's get a rocket cam. Architect. Let's build some oracles. so that they can merge. I know, I know. That is gonna be an attack. Also, unemployment is still kinda rampant. Oh yeah, right. This is running out of pottery. I will need to add a clay pit. And a couple more workshops. Unfortunately, I'm running low on space. But we can just relocate these things. So Actress Colony can go there because it's just not undesirable. And this thing can go here because it's gonna be offset by that. Which means that this space can now be used for workshops. And we'll need more. Uh, I suspect the natives might be buying my pottery from here. So what we'll do is just do this. And then and add another one of these. Lots the coverage, it's fine. Okay, we'll pop rising from here. Unfortunately, it's not cut into. So we'll be able to use this for defense. I'll just clear this area entirely off. Is it small? Caesar wants an army, but I'm not sending him that army. There is no way in the world. Okay, how do we soak up labor again? Uh, we need more oil, I think. We also will need timber. But that's a matter for another time. Well, after the innovation happens, let's get some workshops along here. Also, this will need its own service. Let's make it happen. Natives are coming. Okay, 
okay oracles are done it's tempting to try and squeeze in houses here but we probably shouldn't also where do we accept timber and how i think a new trade route will sell it yes brandesium will sell it would be good to have a separate dock for that thing and this is cut off, which means that the invasion point is probably here, and that's fine. Just need to find a bridge spot. Which might be a little bit difficult. There. Or there, right, yeah. Good enough. Clear this, clear this. Dock. Let's go to this. We know that this is safe, so let's just do that. Warehouse, workshops, furniture. Might be a wharf spot, we might need it for the patricians. So let's just add some workshops for furniture around here. Stop. Oh, we can have it like that. And then this road will go there. Like that. It's another dock spot if we really want it. This will only accept. It's a trade out cold. Brandisium. This will not accept Brandisium. It's going to accept timber and furniture. And we'll be getting some of that timber to our monument builders over here. Send him a force too late, which means one of ours that's weak. It's gonna be sent. Uh, it's actually still some time left. Send him a gift. Greetings. This is an okay city, really. I'm wondering if I should make them better insulate, but probably not. It's not worth it. Didn't get any buffs. Population. Uh, what's our cap? It's quite high, 4,900 already, so it's like half the goal we need in small insulate. Just need to employ these people, which might be a good idea to start just making patricians already, even though our food... Do we, do we have wharfs? Yes. So we have three types locally, that's good. This is safe. So patricians in here would make sense if we make some forts along the border. Yeah, that's what you'll do. Set up the imports, I think I haven't done that yet. For us as a wall. Our home pays less wages. Okay. It's not what we needed at all, but okay. Let's make a fort there. Can use it as a wall. Which means that this area is actually fine for development. We don't have use for trees. Just get rid of that. Need to send a force now. It's gonna be the 11 guys. Get 
gonna buy some beer for Christmas, just a few bottles and a good dog uh, trick beer, so I should look out for. Do you have Czech goods in your supermarket? I think Bernard is pretty decent. It's like the captain from KCD who teaches you the things. It's the same name. Bernard. This one. It's decent. There are a couple of decent ones. Uh, a lot of the big brewers actually make dark brew as well. But this one is decent. The other. Let's see if I can find it. If you can find it in your supermarket, I'm gonna be impressed. <laughs> I didn't suspect you would have it. Okay, uh. Temples. Venus Temple, I think. Uh, let's take a look at the vine. So we can import vines and. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So we don't need Venus for that. But she would still be helpful for. Entertainment and desirability. So let's make her happen. Current temple to Venus, even though this place would have been okay spot for a block really. Our state has monopoly on alcohol here, so special stores for an alcohol. Uh, they do buy different brands from different countries. Right, 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 you mentioned that before. That the monopoly is there. So maybe it's good in some cases, like this. To actually get you various things. But yeah, I mean, if... Uh, if you really want it, what we could do is find out how much would it cost to send a package from here to your place? And then I could send you various things from here. Like, if, if you are limited by weight, I'd have to probably just uh, send you a couple of beers. But I could send you, like, different sort of, like, original snacks or whatever as well. Just so we can test whatever we have here. So I know you mentioned you also like candy from time to time. We do have some original ones. Some countries are missing, unfortunately. There are generally very few Italian vines, for example. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's kind of far, right? But it's good you have our beer. It would be fun, even if I have some decent beers here. Yeah, sure. We can check it out later. I'm not sure how that would work. If it's uh, reasonable to send a package, I would totally be up for it. Same in Norway, only beer and cider in stores, all oh, there is a special store, yeah right. So only the weak alcohol can be bought in regular stores. That sucks, in here you can buy beer and even shots of hard alcohol in freaking kiosks on bus stations, like where they sell tickets. <laughs> <laughs> or even like corner stores. Only flight beers in stores, yeah. In here you can buy freaking shots, 40% rum. <laughs> yeah, from the lady who sells you tickets to have a bus. <laughs> right. But that's also, I don't think that's very good. It's some middle of, middle of the road, maybe. Hey, come on. Come at me. Yeah, gonna have to trigger them. They are coming. 4.8 max, I've seen them in stores, I think. Oh, there's some special store. It's very different. The quality is quite high for the stores though, but I would prefer for that market to be free instead, so there can be specialized stores in the cities. Yeah, it makes sense. That's what we have here, mostly. But the quality is retained, like there have been like two cases where people have been making food like alcohol that was dangerous and it even killed some people but it was like only affecting the drags of society who are buying like unsanctioned un because you, any alcohol you buy in here will have a stamp on it 
that's unbroken and uh, if you see it broken you will not buy it but these people were buying like um, unmarked bottles of clear liquor from people who were doing it in like a basement so it's not the same thing and there had never have been a case where uh, these things were sold in stores I don't think so it's kind of difficult to argue uh, to lock down a market like that because it will just take care of itself you will still develop the specialized stores for different things just the local brands will always be available at your own like corner store or whatever I found that there are different kinds of sake for example with amount of luck which bears on the region getting Guinness and CB I don't know these. But yeah, you, you might also have Norwegian beer. Makes sense, right? Okay, let's make a patrician block. You do need the labor of sponging. To have quite a few patricians on this map because I probably want to retain a bunch of insulae or small insulae rather. But it's gonna be difficult to get them all. Did I mess up? No, just needs to be like that. Not good. Why is this so messed up? Like that. Like that. The absolutely worst thing about the Monopoly is the times they're open. They open late and close early on Saturdays. They are now completely closed on Sundays. Idiot, <laughs> if you ask me. If someone is going to get drunk, they will do so no matter when they're open <laughs> several times i wanted to have one single beer on saturday and i can't get it in the way out it's just so limiting and exactly the argument is right if somebody wants to get drunk they will find a way it's just a, uh, if the guy who's get, who gets limited the most is the guy who comes uh, <laughs> comes from work and wants to have a freaking beer and cannot <laughs> it's just like everything in society, if you try to limit something, usually it will impact the regular people the most, rather than <laughs> the actual like things that government is ranting about. <laughs> Come to Norway, everything is closed on Sunday here. It's horrible. Norwegians do take their Sundays pretty seriously then. Okay, let's keep that there. We want logistics hub over here, I guess. Mm, no, there. And then here. Barber. Exactly, and if I stack up too much, they will stop me from buying it, since they'll expect I'm going to sell it to someone. <laughs> 10 to 16, that's horrible. You need to really plan to buy things. <laughs> For me, it's just like, oh yeah, I would like to pick something up. Just go to a store and pick up whatever, whatever I like. Some of them are even non-stop. And... <laughs> I couldn't plan like that. I guess you learn, but for me it seems very odd. Uh, okay, I just got into that, that's fine. I'm sure there's not gonna be an issue from that. 
Right? Let's make a shipyard. Some wharves. That road is something special. <laughs> it's alright. Let's make it happen. It's gonna be fish. Let's get a couple of granaries around here. get fruits. This one will get wheat. We'll need to start farming fruits. Fruit. I'd kind of like it to be around here where the natives are. It's a lot of open space which is kind of bad to waste but it's all right. Hey friend the computer, welcome. No planning when it's just normal. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you cannot uh, I could go to buy shrooms, wheat, tobacco and alcohol almost any day of the week. <laughs> I check beer 66 for them apparently, that's a lot. It's a big selection. You can only buy 30 grams of wheat at a time though. But you could buy 30 grams, leave the store and come back in 10 minutes and get more. It's kinda of broken. Game the system. I think you can open uh, this link. It's a beer. Yeah, I meant. I'm gonna check it out, just give me a sec. Bernard and Berlager. Uh, it wants me to do uh, to click on some things. I'm gonna read it, but I cannot read your language, so it's gonna sound weird. Jag are under 20R. <laughs> and Jag har fillet 20R. Which one is it? I need to click on something for it to open, and it's like two options. Last one, okay. Uh, yes, that's it, I think. Let's just confirm that. Enter. It's actually a special one, that's not just regular. It's like a special edition. Probably will be more expensive as well, but yeah, yeah, this is the brewery I was talking about. Bernard in general is a pretty good brewery. It's a large scale one, but actually quality wise is one of the best ones. It's not an Euro beer, so that's good. You are over 20 years old. This supposed to stop the youth looking at alcohol? Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed a barbarian reading your language, because <laughs> it sounded absolutely awful, I'm sure. <laughs> but... mm. Yeah. Uh, if you can, pick this up, it's good. I don't like the granary to be here. Let's do that. Just gonna accept fruits. Not too bad, sounds worse <laughs> when the British tries it. You can roll the R. <laughs> yes, I can roll the R. So when someone asks me what I've been doing this last month, it's gonna be, I've been rolling my R since then. It's not gonna be lying. Even though the immediate question is, do you have only facts? No. Uh, okay. I need to 
I just built the markets in the wrong spot. I think they need to go here. Yeah. Need to build a bald house. Somewhere, but I don't like the hair. Maybe we could just water them from like two reservoirs, that would be fine. Just barely reaches it. There is a streamer, Amorant. <laughs> 5.4k viewers right now. She's just sleeping. I wish I had those kind of views. She's literally making money sleeping. I feel like <laughs> creep watching that, yeah. It's just. Why would you do that? <laughs> I've tried very few Czech beers, but Staropramen is good. Yeah, Staropramen is like staple thing. It's the uh, like your usual Euro beer, basically. It's nothing special for uh, people here, but you know, like it's doable. It's possible. There are much worse things out there. <laughs> But definitely not the best, like there are much better beers as well. Send him all the requests, we don't care about that. So we should be stockpiling some food now. Let's get some more area. No, the, no, the best beer is the cheapest. <laughs> well, that I have a anecdote then. I don't know what the cheapest beer at your place is, but if if, if you go into a supermarket here, you can literally get a beer that would cost. Uh, what's the cheapest one? It's like six crowns for a half a liter can, and. It's like cheaper than water, which means it's freaking. It must be industrial waste because there's no way you are canning that thing and selling it at a profit at six freaking crowns, which one euro is twenty six crowns or twenty seven crowns, something like that. Cheapest is too bitter. In here, it's not bitter. It's just water. Eh? It's like very strange. The cheapest beer. It's an American beer in Canada. Yeah, I guess American beer is okay. I never tried it, so I don't have an opinion on it. Cheapest beer here is German Pilsner, just made in Norway. It's cheaper than water. What magic land is this? No, as I said, it's suspicious. I would. It's sus. It must be industrial waste. There's no way you are making that thing and making a profit at that price. It's not a good beer. Tastes like crap. It's so expensive as hell here. <laughs> Any alcohol. It sucks. Coliseum, Hippodrome, I guess you go Coliseum. No, we should be making a Hippodrome. Uh, I need more stockpile space for these things. Let's decrease the amount of oil we are getting and accept some marble in here as well. Get another work camp. An architect connect that, but road block it. Looks like the wheat is running a little dry in there. It's probably because we've got a bunch of it in here. It's fine. I'll need to take a look at my population advisor. You can still fit some people in the city. Is 
this? Oh yeah, it's enclosed in there. Uh, not good. Let's build it like that. Uh, I wanted to play some more Mountain Blade today as well, later, but I also need to do some YouTube stuff because I haven't been doing that in a while and I have some stuff to do. Do tutorial on math making for one. Someone was asking something today <clears throat> on YouTube in comments and Fairway was suggesting I make it before Augustus makes the XML thing a UI, which is a good suggestion. Seems like they have 16 check beers available in this store. That's pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. it's a good selection. One six pack is 368 of your currency, if I'm not mistaken. My currency, which means uh, polished seashells. Like <laughs> freaking natives. Uh, no, 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 it's crowns. So that would be. How much? Oh, uh, like 15, 14 euro, something like that. Maybe a little bit more. It's not horrible in here. Polished, <laughs> polished seashell. Like, uh, one six. So that's six beers, right? Yeah, you can get that cheaper here. One beer is usually around one euro, so. You'd be getting half that price, maybe even below that, for that amount of alcohol. But yeah, I mean, this monopoly sucks. If if the state is saying what you can and cannot buy, I don't like that. I don't think they should have a say, really. Apart from some obviously horrible things, uh, you shouldn't be limited like that. Because everyone's an adult, everyone can just decide for themselves what they want. They are protecting us from ourselves, clearly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dystopian Swedish things. I never expected you to be so mean to your people, why? I also thought you had a liberal government until recently. <laughs> How come they are so authoritarian? Who could have seen it coming? Oh no! <laughs> uh. Right, I need to adjust this road. Make it part of this. It's getting a little bit distorted, but it's alright. This will work. It cannot fit as many people as I would like, but that's fine. Where do you get Polish seashells? <laughs> oh, there, there does. <laughs> she sells seashells done by the seashore. Socialists. You know, I can't try doing government as socialists. <laughs> no point getting into that yet. I was just mentioning it since, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, like, mm, I totally get that now that you mention it, like, yeah, why, I was wondering, like, why would Sweden be authoritarian like that? Oh, yeah, right, <laughs> it's just silly me, that's all I'll say. I'm curious what Mara considers authoritarian. We've been talking about that. If you missed it, it's your fault. We are not talking about it anymore because it's dangerous. You don't want to get sent to a reformation camp, so you have the right values. So let's just cut off the discussion bec before it becomes an issue. Crime Haven? <laughs> you are very loud, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, but let's let's just cut that discussion off. If I can ask it, we shouldn't really be talking about that. Let's talk about Caesar. <laughs> but I understand the discussion. It's fine. You can continue it in the Discord. That's okay. But we really shouldn't be talking about this that much. Yeah, but we have a room in the Discord where we allow politics. It's called Taberna. You can talk about it there. I might even join you there later. But on stream, I cannot really even uh, pronounce some of these things that are in the chat right now. Even though I'm fine with it oof. myself, I don't really care. I don't find it offensive to talk about some things because talking about history is important. But I cannot read it. Or we will have problems. Trust me. Just make more housing. It's just a dangerous employer. It's not my employer yet, but it's sending me money, which is gonna be a problem if we do anything it doesn't like. Not to mention YouTube, I wanted to reach the 1000 subs fairly soon and they wouldn't like this, <laughs> that's for sure. I intentionally do flag my own content as not friendly to children, because we do swear from time to time. Not extensively, but still, uh, it would get demonetized anyway. So I'm just flagging myself uh, in preparation to that. However, this uh, is something they really don't like. Even mentioning some things is very bad for them. Not that it makes these things not be true, but, uh, you know. If an old closet, you can hide it. <laughs> to discuss your dirty politics. Making fun of Martin of <laughs> Well, as I said, I might even agree with some stuff. It's being said, but I cannot talk about it here, or I cannot read it. So I'd appreciate it if it was moved. Not that big of an ask. Let's make a bathhouse. Now, question will be, can we water these people? Yes. We can, apart from this one. That one will go away. Make them some decorations. Taberna is for politics, yes. Everything's tolerated there. Go ham. Unless it's illegal, of course. Then uh, just follow the rules of your country in that case. Because it's different in each place but I cannot police it any other way, so it's always up to the conscience of the people in question. No how it works. <laughs> I feel like you and I have opposite politics. Do you? I'm not sure. It might be the case, but I don't think it's like totally opposite. It's... Today's... Like... I'm not too sure. We haven't talked about it openly much. So I cannot be totally sure. But I don't think it's like that different. It's just sometimes I'm very hard to understand as well. You know? Just talking about things that happened in history and some people take offense. It's not my fault it happened. And I know it. Even though your uh, 2022 brain might not agree with it, it's what happened. You should learn about it. <laughs> should have <I> Mark? <laughs> yeah, go ham. Go ham. Uh, why is this school so bad at life? Well, that's horrible. <laughs> Coverage. 
Why is this the case? I'm just gonna build it here. We don't need this connection anymore. So let's just cut it off. And this school will cover everyone, right? For all of you, but I grew up in a small time. I used to many different political views. Yeah, same for me. I also didn't grow up in a huge city, but it's not only about where you grew up. It's also what you experienced and what you encountered. So there is a difference between prejudice and personal experience in many things. Because prejudice is actually the, the definition of prejudice is something you never actually experience yourself but have strong opinions on because someone else talked about it. Or you got the impression. Trying to shame anyone to start a problem. Seems to be different. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? But that doesn't mean we cannot tolerate each other, I don't think. And even if that's the case, I just don't know if it's that. But if it is, I never had a problem with that. Nor should you, I don't think. Forum. Okay, so that's extra people. Kinda like how we squeezed in everyone around this reservoir. Isn't it kinda neat? 24 marble, it's my import, I'm not giving him that. reservoir in here and we'll connect it. Sure, maybe the sheep will move away? No, didn't consider reservoir I think. Hmm. I will actually report that I think. They should be moving away if you hover a reservoir over them but they just don't. I'm gonna actually write that in the Augustus so I don't forget. Bug reports. If it has water access, they will move. Okay. But a uh, reservoir. will have water access, but if it does not, they won't move. It's done. Okay, correct. Just doing that. You'll need so much marble for them, it's gonna be horrible. Oh, uh, it's also, we will need to make vine. Who sells vine? And vines. Brandisium sells it. Good. So we can make a warehouse over here. It's gonna accept vines. Add vine. Workshops. Vine. We don't need a second dog here. We'll be importing vines. How are our stocks looking on oil? <clears throat> it's still kind of low. It's impressive considering how much stuff we are making, but it's just not enough. Let's make a couple of warehouses here. This is gonna get water. If it's not enough, then we will. Uh, <clears throat> then we will be 
making it local, we can also do that. So that's uh, furniture, pottery, we need vine and oil to make it here. Fine oil. Let's make a taverna. Let's make an uh, arena. I'd like it to be here. Arena. Do we have an amphitheater? Yes. Let's build it. We also want gods, so let's make temples. Give them water. Let's make an academy as well as a hospital. water access they will move but yeah they should be fixed now I complained a bit in the tavern <laughs> okay <laughs> you complain about me <laughs> it's fine I'm gonna read it but not now after the map is done so I want some potter in here I think I will add a clay pit to this have a workshop as well Is this getting built? Yes, it is. Her money was kind of depleted, but that's because we built a whole bunch of stuff. Fluctuating wages, yay. Let's add that. House for one. Actors Colony down here. Gladiator School. It's a tough fit. Right, that works. I should roadblock it though. Add more services to this place. We need to split it at this point, I think. Just add that. Now we need to start importing second type of wine above one. Or import one, so it means no, no wine ever. Could add extra houses on this side and this side if we need plebs. Seems fine for now. Unemployment is still high. We we'll need to deal with this. I thought this would fix it, but no. Let's add some gardens to trick these patricians. Marble costs more, should have seen that coming. Run out of water or something. We will deploy here. I need one last fort as well. I need to consider where to make it. I don't think we really care too much though. It's natives. So the enemy type is natives on this one. The regular invasions are also natives. Okay, it's too close to the enemy to build. It's fine.
There's anger. That's fine. He's gonna be angry. There's nothing I can do. My employment is high. I'll add a couple more workshops for furniture. What about food? It could be better. happen. Get into that. They have everything they would ever want. They want more desirability that's gonna happen soon enough after Venus is done. And then we can start uh, working on a hippodrome. Fits. It's tight to it will work off something, I'm sure. There is actually an access point. So what we could do is just bring this road up. Connect it to this block. It's horrible though, because you don't want this. Uh, it's gonna force me to go and disable buying from markets. Otherwise, they will fetch it from there. But it's, uh, I guess, less of a pain than furniture as well. Also, I'm. This is a lot of micro, but I'm, have to, I'm gonna have to disable a lot of stuff from them. Oh no. So it's two markets in this block. Be okay to just disable furniture a lot. Key bindings to copy paste settings. Yeah, I need to set it up, but not now. I just realized that once I realized how many markets I need to go through, but never used it myself. I never actually had to use it, but in circumstances like this, it's actually worth it to have it. Uprising in the trees. Well, I'd say we can let, let them be there for now. I don't care. We don't need more people here. Right? We just need to keep constructing this monument. So we really need make another brook camp, an architect. The carters from the whole city are just going absolute late at this point. Could just kill him, but... Mm, okay. Let's cut into it. Let's cut into it. I kinda need to get rid of them. Because they are being annoying. But this is why you should never do that. Unless there is a very specific circumstance where you are absolutely sure the player will get into that. Because he needs to for some reason. Uh, people will just cheese it. Because why would they bother? Also, supply post will be stealing food unless we disable it. Hmm. 
the map description said heavy military activity. So far, there hasn't been that much, and the stuff that was here wasn't really difficult, so not sure what that was about. But I don't want to underestimate it. You never know. Gonna have to get these people as a war access from here, most likely. Even though I didn't want to because. Yeah, uh, let's just make it here. It's fine. I don't want to because. Support. I forgot. <laughs> this is an access, so it's fine. Let's just do that. I don't want to make a zero because this is an okay spot for another block. What? Also, this could be a house. This could be a house. Off. That's fine. Expanding this. Weapons, furniture, let's send him the things. Hippodrome is getting built, it's just gonna take a little while. These guys, I will make them have a hedge. anything like the past few attacks we don't even need these but let's just make sure I don't want to die might be sudden maximum size attack or something no it's fine gods are angry also, I had a patrician in here, but he just died off. Let's make some oracles up here. decided it's time to cause some mayhem, so <laughs> all the noises that are currently happening are from the cats. Just rummaging through a bag. <laughs> I don't know what she's searching for. Okay. 12 oil, you can have that. Getting belt. Look a bad house, really? Oh, it's gonna get it. Right. Yeah.
timber. Yeah, I can do it even though it's rare because it's imported good. We can do it. Needs more marble. We only can import so much per year, so that's why also let's check out the wages. Let's pay them a little more. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't have coverage in there, so it makes sense. Burns. But they've built the oracles, that's good. Here, thing. Just move there, I think it should be fine. Very tiny. At the end, we'll need to catch your spam, but time for that is probably not yet. Our population is also quite high. We'll be able to fit all the people with this. I don't think we'll need another block. So maybe we just catch your spam something over here already. So basically, you don't need to use uh, a lot of the mat, really. It always keep, feels kind of bad, but uh, it gives you choices where to build, so in a sense it's better than very limiting things in some circumstances, I'd say. Not a horrible map, it's just a little sandbox, I'd say. The limiting uh, resources are fine, but you can set up very easy manufacturing, and in a sense it's worse, because you don't actually have to produce the goods yourself, which means that your labor will need to be sponged a little bit. Culture is just horrific. I never liked the culture. I think it shouldn't be added to most maps. So it doesn't prove anything. Just literally spam things that account immediately. You could even do it at the very last month of the city, just so it ticks in and you never even like bother with stability of the city itself. Because it doesn't prove a stability of a city like this, it does, sort of, because I'm having to deal with it. But you could just cheese it. On the last month, disable all your other industries you don't need, necessarily. And then build this and let it activate and then it takes in. So, really proves nothing. Send the three culture. But it's because gods are unhappy. Bunch of jobs, which is good. Yeah, I can have both. It's getting bell, just let it happen. For the stage. Yeah, this one is expensive, but we all have plenty of clay and everything. Yeah, I can have money. Plague in the city, small and slow. I will be adding a couple of mausoleums. Deal with health.
gonna take a while to build everything up. Especially with this. 32 marble. It's too disease triggering constantly. It's fine. Once an army, it's a small force. I will be sending two war units. We'll solve it, just need marble, yeah. They're starting to build up some mausoleums. This should solve our health problems. Hopefully. It really doesn't like, Augustus doesn't like me having so many people in the city while keeping them low evolution level, fairly low evolution level. Because uh, small insulate is actually quite low. But I cannot give them furniture, this would destabilize everything I think. Unless I do it cheekily by placing this actor's colony here. Trying to get a warehouse for furniture in here. But it still might not work well. We'll see. Just get a full amount, it's fine. Might want another one. But where? Just let it happen. What does he want? Oil? Let's give him oil. to cut off the partition block though, after we get some furniture in here. At least it has time to stockpile up. Mausoleums, it should get better, and I think it is a little bit better, but still isn't stable enough because we just accommodated extra thousand people. To build up some small ones, I guess. A little bit of marble. <laughs> yeah, almost two hours. So again, it fits the format well. Let's move Neptune. It's an army. It's here again. Just put troops here. At least we haven't been building for ended blocks too much. Mm, I don't really want to give him marble at all, but we've built all the things. No, we have high favor. He does ask for a lot of marble, considering it's an imported thing. Because previously he asked for like 24. It's like more than... It's like two years worth of imports. It's not good. Especially when you are building monuments. If I wasn't, it would be fine. But of course, we are building monuments. It's kinda neat to. Right. Races will begin. We will cut off this. 
that will enable furniture in some of these blocks. Not this one though. Let's just begin. Okay. That's a victor. This was quite a breeze, this map. Alright, let's take a look at the map again. It's Istmia. Unrecoverable error in Augustus. Okay. So done. <laughs> Depends. The map is not uh, hard. I don't. I don't. I don't think. But nevertheless, mm, was a little bit original. You don't have to play insane things all the time. And yeah, you actually have more space than necessary. It was nice to squeeze in the entire city in here and then have the patricians separate. I think it looked kind of cool to have everyone together for once because that's a complaint for some people, which. Uh, they don't like building like separated blocks in different kind of places around the map because it looks odd. But uh, yeah, this way it looked like one place, city, really. Money is not a problem on this map really, I uh, didn't even need to take the bailout really if I was more conservative, but there is no reason not to take it. It's just free money, it allows faster expansion. Apart from that, only clay raw resource, that was nice. I could maybe even appreciate if there weren't any olives because you could just start by opening up Syracuse I for pottery and then you could import olives that could have been good I think having pottery local is just good because you can go insulate locally and that's very easy from that point on but clay was not an option to import so uh, overall I'd say pretty good uh, pretty well done on the map. I never meant it that though, so the economic difficulty was definitely too easy. I would recommend tweaking the prices a bit. They are just too high on vanilla. But of course don't go too insane and go like, oh yes, you will sell this for 30 denarii. That's not gonna work. But middle of the road, good balance would help. Uh, I didn't like this, the innovations from here. I'd like them to be placed here instead. Or here, or here, if this was open up. Mm, just don't enclose your invasion points, it's always bad, because it's always gonna open that option. Oh yes, I'm not ready for this, I will just leave it there forever, because I don't care. If I can, this is, uh, not, if I don't need immigration immediately, I will do that on one of maps. So, that was a little bit of a bummer, but uh, overall, quite easy, quite a breeze, we've done it in two hours. So, again, fits format of YouTube video quite well, and that's gonna be it for Caesar for today. And I'm taking a look at who's out there. Looks like Blubber is still playing that map. <laughs> Sorry, Blubber. Hey, Lexington. I have bad timing. Yeah, sorry for that. 